over the physical features, the unit is quite portable with smooth edges, making this easy to toss around and stow away in a tight bag. The entire unit is wrapped in a very solid aluminum grill, pressing on this yielded no flexing at all. Now there's two drivers that I can see on the front here, but there's nothing on the rear despite again being wrapped all the way around in aluminum, and no sound comes out the rear just to clear that up. Now on the bottom and the top is a matte finish which looks simple yet classy. Although the speaker does give the look of having a base radiator or maybe a woofer pointing upwards here, sliding a piece of paper all the way around proved there's no opening, the design is just purely aesthetic. Nonetheless, it's still a unique look though. Looking over the buttons, they're all touch sensitive and they all work very well. When a unit is on, the unit glows a very bright white and not a cheap dim looking LED. The top left is your mode selector to enable Bluetooth, switch to the 3.5mm physical cord, or use a micro SD card slot, which I'll show you later. Now the right is pause and play with disconnecting the speaker if you use this as a speaker phone. And the bottom two are for skipping songs left and right, and that blue ring in the middle here is also touch sensitive, it's a volume dial which worked perfectly fine, just rotate your finger here. Now rotating to the rear, there's your on and off switch with a 3.5mm port to physically connect your device, a TF card slot, which is the acronym for Trans Flash, which Sandus stopped using that name a while ago, but micro SD card slides basically right into this and plays music off of that. And last is a micro USB port for charging the device. Now there's no wall adapter, so you do have to use an existing USB port like on a computer or maybe a power bank. And last, there is a tiny LED under that that indicates if the unit is being charged or uh, basically if it's full. Now one issue with the light is very small, when a cord is plugged in, it does block the light, so checking it, it's uh, somewhat of a slight nuisance though. Now regarding battery life, the soundbox is claiming up to 12 hours of battery life in general. Like all my Bluetooth speakers I test, I did leave this on at 50% volume from a full battery to dead, and I personally achieved 14 hours and then I just stopped. Now regarding range, I did walk from one side of the house to the other, went downstairs, and had the signal pass through several walls with my Samsung S7, and no problems at all. That's about 40 linear feet. So other than that, the speaker doesn't have all the bells and whistles like NFC or being waterproof or offering bass boost, but the build quality and the aesthetic so far I'm really enjoying.